Want to know where to get the best possible cheap, reliable coins at your fingertips? What do you think? Whoa, very nice. Look at that. Look no further than MMOEXP. Link is down below. Top of description. Use code META for 5% off. And what's good with y'all boys? Hopefully you're good man. It is your boy Meta Mike. Ladies and gentlemen, we have another episode of the Evolution content right there. Yeah, I've released the Growth Spurt. One or two FC24 Evolution. You can do one or two right there. Obviously, the playstyle plus is dead ball. You get technical insights of pass as well. Now, I'm not too sure what's the difference between the two, but if you obviously look at foot.gg, you will see all the cards. And today, I'm going to show you exactly which cards are the best, the most meta that I've currently seen. Leave in the comments if you see a card that I haven't actually explained or obviously noted. Do leave in the comments, man. We all want to see. Join the Discord. Join everything right there. Check out MMOXP. Check out the shirt sponsor for the best possible shirts. Use the code... Um, what is it? This is code Mike. Sorry for 12% off. Let's get into it, man. We got obviously um, the requirements being your card must be maximum 75. So these are cards that are very, very low rated. You got 76 maximum pace, 80 dribbling, physical 80, number of playstyle 7 maximum. And the number of playstyle pluses must be on a zero right there. I mean, a lot of 75 rated and below it, they just do, do not have more playstyles, you know, pluses. So, yeah, overall, I think it's going to be brilliant, man. Uh, because think of it, though. You can actually upgrade these type of cards to obviously get fodder, bro. Do you know what I mean? I mean, you can do it twice. So, essentially, you can literally get 288 rated cards, bro. Or uh, depending on, obviously, how much you upgrade the card to, if that makes sense. But, yeah, we can obviously look at the best ones. And talking of Sergi, we actually have a card right there, which I just want to kind of click on. But um, we can do all that right now. Let me just showcase right here. Hit that like though, ladies and gentlemen, please. It will be much appreciated. Tell me if you're going to do some of the evolutions. I'm currently doing Colin Mwani. I just can't find a way to do him because, yeah, I'm also trying to do Mbappe's SPC. So it's tough, bro. I'm not going to lie. It's very tough. But as you can see, these are all the cards. I've got the best meta ones. We've got the very first one going to be Kempf right there. Hopefully I pronounce, pronounce his name right. He's got the playstyle of obviously technical now as a center back, which is a little bit crazy. Uh, he's obviously got the likes of the dead ball playstyle plus <laughs> as a center back it's a little bit weird but look at that pace attributes bro mostly lengthy 88 rated card from i don't know how much wait how much was he actually from he was for a 75 rated card he's probably gonna go up in price that's the thing with these cards um i don't know what we've just done there as you can see right there four star weak foot as well he's looking amazing bro amazing defending very nice strength and aggression 74 stamina don't really care about stamina for a center back very nice composure only down for easy reactions for a center back but i mean overall man that card is looking nice for evolutions do you know what i mean we got the very next one probably going to be Velinia right there hopefully i've pronounced his name right it is an 88 rated cm can play him cam or lm can uh yes three star weak foot uh, sorry, three star skills, four star weak foot. Amazing, amazing acceleration. Not the best pace split, controlled accelerate type. 93 balance, so he's going to feel nice on the ball. How tall is this card, man? Uh, doesn't really showcase right there. But overall, if you're looking, looking for like a box to box kind of outlet and you need like a Netherlands type of like a cheap root hood, would you say? I definitely say this guy is the man. He's got an 80 club, 85 physical, 84 defense, 87 dribbling and passing. Now, this card, oh my days. 59 penalties is the only downfall like he's got everything green bro literally like that isn't a solid solid card man and that's what i like about these evos you know it doesn't take that much time what do you actually have to do so it's kind of like you need to play five squad battles achieve three clean sheets you can do this all in squad battles bro essentially it's gonna take a couple of games but you get your squad battle games done. You get the packs. You get what I'm saying. And you get fodder if you really want to do it like that. We've got the very next one uh, being Tony Gomes right there. Or Gomez. However you pronounce his name. I definitely think he is one of the better ones in this whole evolution, man. you got the likes of him having 86 pace right there. 84 physical, 84 defense. If you add a shadow on him, right? 88 reactions. I'm, po I'm possibly saying this is the steal of the day, bro. Straight up, man. He looks phenomenal, phenomenal for a center back right there, man. And obviously has all the insights of pass technical. So it kind of allows for these center backs to actually have better passing now. Do you know what I mean? Obviously with the upped um, insights of pass, etc., etc. And 
plus six passing so overall man i definitely think he is a very nice card to get we have the very next one being a sumaria right there everybody knows he has been a cheap beast right there always in fifa uh i think this time around though he wasn't really good in the start i'll be honest right there. i didn't use him but overall i do think if you were to upgrade him to an 88 he has very very nice um physical stats He's just always been a physical lad. He's got very, very nice, um, obviously, ball control aspects. So someone that's a little bit lanky, like a ball winner, that is your man, man. Someone like a... I wouldn't even say cheap VR, because he's probably going to be very, very cheap. But yeah, overall, if you add something like a Shadow, he goes to 85 pace, 88 defending. Like, these cards are actually usable, you know what I mean, from from literally 75 rated bro that is crazy stuff but uh, we got the very next one now this is a little bit of a weird one because you actually have to put him through the fc founders 2 and then you can get him to an 86 so if you don't put him to through the fc founders 2 i think you can get him to about a an 84 in my opinion you can get him to about an 84 or i think could i be wrong right here in saying no i think you can the only downfall is you won't get him to five star skills because this obviously does not improve any um skill moves right there but overall man i think this fatino if you ever did the fc founders 2 and put him through there i doubt any of you have then you can probably get his 86 right there which is five star five star amazing pace obviously not the best finishing but a chem style can fix that and possibly more evolutions in the start um in the in the, sorry in the future and you know overall man with the technical right there incisive pass he's gonna deal with a great great cam right there man uh outlet but uh, we got the very next one gonna be love love right there which you can actually both do without spinning a dime ladies and gentlemen you just have to buy his card possibly snipe him because i think a lot of people are gonna do his card um i definitely think he is a solid card for a ball winner someone that's a cdm in like a four two three one he goes through like a rock uh, evolutions through the growth spurt 102 and you do obviously get all the necessary play styles don't really need to go through that we've been through that he goes like look at the physicality stats bro look at that pace as well you add a shadow he goes to 91 acceleration 88 sprint speed 88 rated lavia right there if you are a chelsea don you will absolutely love this card links to the Bruyne, links to all the necessary uh obviously belgian lads very very nice card 96 defense bro oh my good god only downfall is his passing but overall what a card man the very next one is going to be Koulibaly, which i looked at it was like it's mid bro i'll be honest probably the mid of the day <laughs> strength is a nice but yeah overall it's just not a great great card i just included him you know if you maybe rocking like a cheap bundesliga slash uh, french team by all means he's, he will be decent we got the very next one i think a lot of people might do actually i feel like origi if you were to get a special card he definitely not be probably actually under twenty thousand coins bro do you know what i mean like i definitely think he would be over twenty thousand coins um if he got a special card because he's just always been a beast right there he's like kind of like a streets won't forget player a lot of people love him 99 hitting accuracy now not the greatest card if you add something like an engine he goes to 82 balance 84 agility 97 sprint speed but 80 acceleration so he's gonna feel kind of like a cane someone that's a bit lanky but he's got four star four star i don't think that's a bad card at all bro i'm not gonna lie to you 71 stamina is a bit of a downfall you are going out your way to use him but if you like the main, main man divok big divok uh if you know you know <laughs> we got broha right there man everybody knows as a chelsea lad you'd love this card in your team i think you definitely need to add an engine nah not even an engine something to boost that pace a lot bro because you kind of want to use him as like a cam slash cf in a 4 2 3 1 he'd be decent bro i'm not gonna lie that three star three star don't take it into account because these type of cards are actually slept on bro i'm not gonna lie i use morata as a cam and he is insane and i'm not even just saying that like he actually is insane nearly got me 16 wins but i definitely think a hunter straight up would just boost his uh, card to 95 finishing 99 sprint speed um lacks that the pace split is is what's killing him do you know what i'm saying but it's okay bro it's not too bad we got edward right there which remember he had a special card he was very good he had that one special card i think it was fifa 22 i could be wrong 88 sprint speed very nice card i do think he is one of the meta cards in this game every card that i've basically mentioned but i would say he's up there with at least the top two i mean he's got everything like you know made for a striker possibly just add an engine though you know what i mean just to boost his overall turning elements that's the main thing with these type of cards because i don't think he's that short if i'm not mistaken we can look through um because i don't think they show the height on uh foot.gg let us see edward 
Otsone Edward right there. Hopefully I've pronounced his name right. We're going to look through. Uh, not Power Shooter. Growth Spurt 102 right there. Let's see. But it doesn't really matter because we're looking at his heights. What am I doing, bro? Six foot two, as you can see, he's a little bit tall. But uh, yeah, definitely add an engine. He will be nice. We've got the very next one. Now talking about a very nice box-to-box -box card. Look at this card, bro. If you add an engine, right? I mean, someone that went from 75, actually no lower because he's a uh, silver. 88 acceleration, 90 sprint speed. This card is looking phenomenal, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my days. What a card. Only downfall is the three star, three star, and that's it. If you add him in like a four, three, two, one as that like offensive outlet, I definitely think in as like a RCM spot, he will be amazing, man. Zaria Ermery right there, very, very nice. And PSG links to Colum Wani, the likes of Mbappe. You boys know the deal, man. You can even get him to 88 if you've added him to Welcome to Evolutions, which I don't think anyone has. Fair play if you have, though. But yeah, we've got one of the second uh, second last cards. It's going to be Serachi, which was actually on the um, the home screen of the Evolution, which is a good thing. She's got 4-star, four 4-star. Four She's probably small. 98 agility, 91 balance. She kind of reminds me of like a Butra Gueno, someone like that. She's got 89 stamina, 94 hitting accuracy. Now, this, in my opinion, looks like a kind of like a cheap Smith, a cheap... I wouldn't say ham because ham is so expensive. But if you add something that boosts, I just say overall get a hunter, bro. If you want to use it as like a lamb or ram, you want that like pace and shooting aspects to come into account. This card is looking phenomenal. I'm not going to lie. Oh my days. But yeah, the very last one is going to be in Fulu right there, which is more of your box to box player. And I definitely think he is kind of meta, man. He's got obviously not the best weak foot uh, or skill move. Sorry, uh, same thing. CM in game though. He's kind of reminds me of like a... Um, how can I explain? Like a Sanchez, box-to-box -box kind of player. Um, it's okay. Nothing great. But I mean, someone that went from 72 to 85, it's looking nice. Not bad right there. Tell me who you use. Who's your favorite right there card? I'd probably say it's between Edward or the likes of Sergi. I'm not going to lie. Like, those cards look amazing uh, value. Even Somare right there as well. But yeah, hit the like, subscribe. Tell me what you're going to do for this evolution. So we'll catch you boys in the next one, man. Peace.